What is going on, my fellow YouTubers? This is Ricky J, baby, from Ricky J Sports. People, I am pumped up and ready to go because I got quite the showdown for you guys today. It's good old Ricky J versus the number 12th ranked fighter on ranked right now and um, on the PS4. And this guy's good. This guy's mean. And respect to him for using Masvidal. And I thought I would show you guys this fight. And, um, man, this guy's stand-up game is fantastic so I wanted to show you guys just some of my strategies that I'm employing these days and like I said in one of my previous videos you know I'm keeping my combo short and going with quality over quantity that's my number one advice for people that are starting out quality over quantity and then also vary your attacks man and you know what I'm implementing too in my game is fainting with the jab and going with the body kick because all you guys know that I love to faint the jab and then go with a straight to the body but I'm doing that and going with a kick to the body and then switching that up and going with a kick to the head so um, keeping my opponent guessing and I think before I was not really doing that people I was not really being that unpredictable type of fighter so in this showcase I'm not gonna tell you how it goes man but I Felt like I was doing a better job at being competitive against these top guys, man. So right now I'm respecting my opponent's, you know, striking ability. I, I felt like in the beginning, you know, he was doing a lot of head hunting, which, you know, gave me that ability or that wherewithal to understand, you know, block my head. <laughs> Don't worry about the good old belly, but block my head and just be patient. I was also planting my feet and going with the straight uppercut. Oh, he starts to go, oh, picking up pennies right there. He starts to show signs of wanting to take me to the mat. And when, you, when you're using Nick, you have nothing to worry about. So here he goes. He goes right into the single leg action. I start feeding him <laughs> some shots. I deny that takedown. All I'm doing is pushing R2 and down when he puts that right leg back. And when he goes up forward, R2... And over under direction. In this case, it's to the right. He finally gets me down. And I'm feeling pretty good, you know. My stand up, or sorry, my stamina, stamina, I can't even talk. My stamina is doing pretty good. He transitions here. But I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not trying to panic. No need to go into panic mode yet. You could already tell he's a seasoned veteran faking two mount getting me right here into side control and I'm throwing those strikes to gr to gain a little grappling advantage man you want that Ben you want that and then I reverse them oh man I thought sometimes when you're playing this game you try to go for transition denials and just I don't know if it's the leg or just bad timing but I thought I had him right there and there's 10 seconds left. I just want to protect my head. And that's a pretty decent round, man. I, I got to say, it's a pretty decent round. And I never claim, people, I never claim to be one of the best. I claim to be a respected fighter. And I feel like I'm, I'm at that point where when I'm facing these big dogs, I can hold my own. You're not just going to run over me. I'm no tomato can, man. <laughs> I'm not Chef Boyardee. But right here, I'm saying to myself, you know, just mix it up. It's five rounds, so, you know, you got some time. In that first round, I don't know if that was my round. It was probably his round. I got tons of time to work. I give him a nice knee right there. What I was trying to do was trying to go for that sidekick to the body just to kind of push him off away from me. And I'm circling. Again, I'm noticing he's going a lot to the head. Oh, now he's going to the body as I say that. But I'm okay. He's going again for some more takedown action. Do the fans want to see you grabbing the old leg? No way. And I'm denying it. And then he's aborting mission right there. 12th rank fighter. Doesn't want to deal with my denying abilities. Call me the denying dingo, baby. 
But right here, I have to say, like, I did a really good job of just not overthrowing. I think it was the last live stream I did. I was overthrowing just because I felt like I had to perform. But um, I'm getting back to just being accurate and picking my spots. And I think in this fight, I did a decent job doing that. And I did right there. And right here, it looks like he's giving up. I'm pulling a good old Retro Rocky. You know Retro Rocky. Sometimes he watches streams and people just give up. Especially when he has them on the mat. And at this point, I'm like, why is this guy... Unless he's playing possum, but he's not moving. He is still striking. I kind of give him a nice taunt there to say, you know what? Fight, brother. But I think he's just putting the anchor down saying, you know what? I'm just going to move my head and throw punches. And he's doing a fantastic job. Slipping. Going for nice hits, man. Look at him. Hands down, just slipping away. But I'm telling myself, don't worry, man. Don't overthrow. And look at that. Hits him with a shot and gets a W. And as Joe Rogan would say, people, that's a nice feather in my cap to take out one of the, um, you know, the top, what is he, top 12, I think he is. But what a great matchup. And, man, I feel like, you know, I'm coming together and doing a nice job on the feet. But um, let me know your thoughts on this fight. Let me know your thoughts on my new and improved stand-up game. Do you go with quantity over quality or are you, all, are you all about just throwing crazy strikes? But let me know in the comments. Have a great day, guys, man. This is Ricky J, baby, from Ricky J Sports. And you are awesome.